So I did a lot of shopping for fall and I just wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff I got. And I'll leave the links down below for all the clothes I got if they're still available and haven't sold out or if I can still find them. So I wanted to start with Forever 21 just because I did a huge online order that just got to me a few days ago. So I got a lot of chokers just because I've been loving the choker trend. And the first choker I got is this one I'm wearing right now, which is like a black gemstone choker. And then I got this one, which is actually a set of two. And I mainly got this for this cute little gold choker, which I felt was really cute and dainty and it would make like a really nice everyday necklace. But I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this like burgundy leather one as well. It has these like cute gold accents at the end. Then I got this really adorable white pearl choker that I've been loving. And then I got this black suede wraparound choker with these silver accents at the end which I like because then it doesn't just look like you tied a string around your neck and I had been wanting one of these but these were so ridiculously overpriced at like boutiques and stores I saw one at Bloomingdale's and it was like $45 and I was like I'm not gonna pay $45 for what's basically a piece of string and then I found this really cute black and white sweater that I thought was perfect for this time of year and then I got this simple black bodysuit because I feel like these pair really well with so many different things and you can dress them up or down. And then I got some really cute pajama bottoms. I got these gray and white snowflake ones and these were only $10 so I was really happy about this. And then I got these cute pink and black ones with polka dots. And these were I think $15. And these are both really soft. They're made of flannel and I can tell that they're going to be really comfy and cozy. And then I got some stuff from Bath & Body Works because I'm obsessed with their candles this time of year. So I originally went there because I had one candle from the summer that I just wanted to exchange for like a fall candle. And then my friend sent me a coupon to get one three wick candle for $5. So I was like, okay, obviously I can't pass up on that. So I made an effort to avoid anything like too pumpkin-y or too sweet because I got so many of those last year and I like still have some of them. So I got winter and this is one of my favorite like fall winter scents and it just smells amazing. This has white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, and spiced clove and it just smells like so nice and fresh and crisp. It's just like the perfect thing to be burning in your house on like a cold day. It's just amazing. And then I got lavender vanilla which I had been looking for for a really long time but I haven't been able to find this for like eight months and I was worried that they discontinued it. But thankfully I was able to find it when I was there, so I was like, okay, I need to get this. And this is a blend of two timeless scents, lavender and creamy vanilla, becomes unforgettable with touches of delicate jasmine and citrus. So yeah, this is like um, very lavendery with a hint of vanilla, so it's not too sickly sweet. And this is great if you like like subtle sweet smells. And then I got mahogany balsam in the smaller size. And this is, um, they have mahogany teakwood, which is the one that basically smells just like men's cologne. And then mahogany balsam is like that with a touch of like fresh wintry like balsam and pine tree. This says fresh green balsam, juniper berries, and rich mahogany. And so it's like a combination of the two and it's really nice. It's um, got that fresh wintry scent with a hint of that like men's cologne scent to it. And then also from Bath & Body Works, I got lots of the little hand sanitizers because these are so useful to have in like your purse or your backpack. And my favorite is the Stress Relief in Eucalyptus Tea. And I also got French Lavender, A Thousand Wishes, and Honolulu Sun. And then I got a lot of the little fragrance bulbs because these are great at making a room smell continuously nice. I got Fresh Cut Lilacs, Eucalyptus Mint, Sundress, Sparkling Sugar Plum, Island Margarita, and Coastal Sun. And then I also placed an online order from ColourPop and I got one of their most famous highlighters in Lunch Money. This is like a really pretty shimmery champagne and I think this is a really good dupe for the Balm's Mary Luminizer. I don't know if you can see that but it's just got like the perfect soft shimmer to it. And then I wanted to try out their sculpting sticks so I got one in Easy Peasy and this I only got to use like twice before it broke so I emailed them and they were nice enough to send me another one so I have two of those now. And this is like a really nice light cool toned brown and this is like perfect for my cheeks 
that looks a lot darker but it blends out really nicely with like a sponge or a beauty blender and it's just like perfect for like easy on the go contouring and then I got one of their ultra satin liquid lipsticks in magic wand and this is like a really nice light nude pink this is like really nice for everyday wear because it's not too dark and it lasts a really long time but it does sort of have a bit stickiness to it because it is a satin lip and not a matte lip even though it appears and dries like a matte lip and then I went to Bloomingdale's and for those of you that don't know what Bloomingdale's is this is a very famous New York based store and they're known for like their brown bags particularly their little brown bag so I actually got one of those I had seen for a few years this is like their little brown bag in like purse form and I have been wanting one of these because I thought it was just like really cute and really functional for like everyday use or like going to the gym or like packing a lunch in it so I got one of these and then from Bloomingdale's I also got the Ciate London Olivia Palermo collection and I had been wanting this for a really long time and they had this at Sephora but it was like kind of pricier so I was like eh like I'll wait there's no rush but then I saw that it was being discontinued and then it went on sale on Sephora's website so I really wanted to get it but it sold out and I was really upset when it did but I was able to find it at Bloomingdale so I bought it online and I went to go pick it up in stores and I am in love with this it came with three products the blush bronzer combo a purple eyeliner and a nude lipstick and I had been wanting to try all three of these so I'm like really obsessed with this and the packaging is so cute too so this is the blush bronzer duo in bluff point and it's got like a really nice leathery look to it oh the little plastic thing fell out but this is basically what it looks like it's like a perfect matte bronzer with like a really nice soft rosy toned blush and then this is the eyeliner and this actually like opens it has like two little lids to it and this is a really nice purple that I thought would be perfect for lining underneath my eyes and I've only used it once so far but it's been amazing it has a really nice consistency and it comes with this like really useful brush at the end it's not just like a little rubber smudger but it's like an actual real brush that's really useful to have and then probably what I wanted most from this collab was this lipstick which is in cashmere and this is like the perfect nude so I'm so excited to have this and this is like so useful I swatched it on my skin so you guys can see but it's just like a true nude without any pink to it which I really like because I've been looking for like the perfect everyday nude and then I also placed an order through American Eagle and I got this like perfect black winter hat which was actually five dollars so I was really excited about this and I think this is just great for like everyday wear and it'll look really cute with a coat gotta fix my hair after that and then I got some high-rise black jeans and I love American Eagles jeans because they come in short sizes and I'm pretty short so it's like the one place where I can always find jeans that don't like scrunch up at my ankles and they fit perfectly and then the last thing I got from American Eagle was these really nice brown booties and I wasn't planning on buying boots but I saw these in the sale section and they were $20 so I was like okay like I need to get this this is a really good deal so I just went ahead and bought them and I'm really glad I did they're my favorite booties right now and then the other day I was walking home and I walked past a Payless and I saw these boots in the window and I wouldn't normally think to check Payless but I saw these and I was like oh my gosh those riding boots like they're perfect so I got those and they were having BOGO so of course I had to buy another pair to get it 50% off so I got these and these are normally like not really my style but I thought they were actually really cute and it is my first winter in New York and it's gonna be a little colder than I'm used to being from Texas so I thought the more boots the better so that's everything I got and if you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe because I'm a new YouTuber and I plan on uploading a video every Saturday. But thanks so much for watching. Bye guys! I was able to find the Too Faced Love palette for $16 and this is normally $44 so I was really excited about this. I also found NARS nail polish for $6 and this is normally $18. I also found a Strivectin cream for $20, and this brand is normally pretty pricey.